You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Super Saiyan. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. Or, you could just call this a Super Saiyan 2. So that was the Super Saiyan full body workout and I decided to make this very hard so you can feel like you're Goku. Now I do want to go over some of these exercises because I don't think a lot of people can do most of them so I have some easier variations and I'll explain that more in detail. So the first exercise is the back lever and what did you expect? It's one of the hardest exercises on this list but I had to put it in because I think it's really awesome. Now you can do this both on the bars or on the rings. And if you're looking for some easier variations, you can try a tuck back lever or you could go with a one leg back lever. So the second exercise is ring dips. Now the reason I chose ring dips instead of regular dips because I thought it was harder and I have rings available. But not everyone has rings so you can do regular dips. And uh, if that's still too hard for you, you can always do dips assist with a rubber band. So the third exercise is weighted chin-ups. And I wanted to make this exercise weighted because I have a weight vest available for me, but not everyone has that. So you can either do regular chin-ups uh, to make it easier if you can't even do weighted chin-ups. But if you have weights like a backpack or something you can grab onto, then go for weighted chin-ups. And if you can't even do chin-ups, then use a rubber band for assistance. That will help you a lot. The fourth exercise is weighted pull-ups. And just like the weighted chin-ups, I decided to make these weighted. But of course, you can always do regular pull-ups or use a resistance band to make those pull-ups easier for you. The fifth exercise, we have advanced front lever pull-ups. Now, I could have put full front lever pull-ups, but I think that's too overkill for most people. So I decided to keep these in. And for easier variations, you can do a tuck front lever pull-up, you can do a L-sit front lever pull-up, or you can use a resistance band to make it easier. And of course, if you can't even do a pull-up, practice doing tuck lever, uh, tuck front lever holds. That will help you a lot. Pistol squat. 
basically a regular squat with one leg. So if you're unable to do this exercise, do regular squats until you gain enough strength to do the pistol squat. And if you have weights available at home, use them to make your squats weighted. Now the seventh exercise is regular kicks. Now if you can't even do a regular kick, now you can use these three minutes to practice. You don't, don't have to be perfect, you just have to practice. But remember one thing, it's quality over quantity. So don't try to spam a lot of kicks. I mean, the most important thing is just get the perfect angle and stuff. So don't do a lot of them, but do less, but make them more perfect. So our eighth exercise is boxing. Now you can use a boxing bag or you could use your friends or if you don't have any of those just shadow box or find somebody to spar with like a random person on the street. I'm sure he'll do it. Now remember these five minutes are just practice. You don't gotta show off to anybody. So for example you could do one set only jabs and make the other set only hooks because you gotta master those punches. If you wanna be a super saiyan you have to master the art of fighting. All I ask is have fun with it and remember quality over quantity. So that does it for the Super Saiyan full body workout. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment. You could leave a comment on what's the next team I should do. Are they a Super Saiyan? What other teams do you want me to do like anime themed or any other team at all? Leave your comment down below. And anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And this, what's he doing, is to go even further beyond!